Now, some of you might be interested in producing mashups, which is producing a recording that you can then use in your DJ sets. And there are actually tools that you can use. You can use a digital audio workstation if you're already familiar with that. There are programs specifically just called, like, I think, mashup editors. And now we have this technology called Stems, which is basically using machine learning um, to process the music files that you already have to try to separate the drums, the instrumentals, and the vocals in real time. Uh, they're not really processing in real time. They're processing it the moment you load in a file. Instead of playing one sound, they're playing three sounds into the same channel. Uh, and then you can sort of mute each one of those. Um, that's a fairly new development. Um, I'll talk a little bit about how to get it to work on Rekordbox. This is definitely one where Serato has an edge right now. Serato's stems functionality is a little bit more processor intensive, but it's way more advanced than what Rekordbox has. Rekordbox still feels very first generation, and Serato seems a little bit more advanced. But the user interface and the workflow that every single DJ piece of software has, and all the major ones, the actual workflow of how each one of these software implements um, how they expect you to use them is a little bit different. It's not been sorted out, not, not in the same way that two faders and a cross fader or the EQs have been kind of standardized across a lot of different pieces of software. So I can show you a little bit, but the final points you're going to need to like actually play with the functionality, what kind of workflow you're comfortable with. For instance, on Serato, you can do something like, I'm going to put the vocals on one fader, and I'm going to put the instrumental on another fader. So I can just sort of put the fader up now. But you need a very specific piece of hardware to be able to do that, because you need four faders. Two for the song on the left, two for the song on the right. On Rekordbox, you can do the same sort of thing, but you actually have to decide that you're going to clone a song, and you have to decide, are you going to clone the song to the opposite deck, or are you going to clone it to the second layer? Uh, some of you have multiple layers on your controllers already. You can do a deck one, deck three, deck two, deck four. And you get to decide whether you want to move your vocal over to this side, or move your vocal into the second layer. There's a lot of different ways, and there's actually some pieces of software where they'll just replace your EQ knobs. Instead of saying bass, mid, and high frequencies, it's drums, vocals, instrument, or something like that. You know? And all of them will sound jank if you give it the, the wrong song. None of it is foolproof. This is still, we've had this technology probably for about three years at this point. So it's still kind of being ironed out. And Rekordbox only introduced it like last month. Um, some of you might have noticed if you updated your, your, the version of Rekordbox, you have this thing called track separation. And I'll show you how to turn it on. You may have to go into extensions up here in your preferences and click this, this enable the track separation function. This may not be enabled by default. If you don't see these little rainbow icons on the site, that means it's probably not turned on. If it turns out that turning it on makes your computer slow to a crawl uh, because it is very processor intensive, then leave it off. Um, you know, that's, the track separation is not a feature that's so important to DJing that you must have it on. Um, you can always download Acapellips and mix that way. And, and that doesn't require any additional processing resources. If you want to be able to use your performance pads the way how I was using it earlier, you're going to need to go to the pad editor on top of record box. And you've got to change one of your pad modes to a user pad. You get to customize what functions your pads do. I took over user one. <coughs> and what you do is you click on any of these menu and you select transport. And under transport, you see track separation. Part instrument, part vocal, part drums. You can sort of see the, the blue, green, red. And if, if it's bright, it means that sound is on. If it's dark, that means it's muted. So now I, there's blue, green, red, drums, vocal, instrument. If I play this track, now instruments is muted. It's just vocals and drums. And now it's just drums, right? I think there's only one record box controller right now that's pre-configured to give you stems controls. But all record box controllers allow you to do this editing. As long as it's got pads, you can go into pad, edit, create a user mode. Since I set it in that second row, I have to hit shift pad to be able to get that functionality. 
If I just hit the functionality once, I'll get pad fx1. If I hit shift pad, I get user1, and now, and now I have stems functionality on that. For Serato, up here, it says replace pad mode with stems. If you check that, you get to choose one of the pad modes that you don't normally use, and you replace it with the stems functionality. Serato is a little different because it actually gives you four stems instead of three. So it's not drums, vocal, instrumental. It is drums, bass line, all the other instruments, and vocals. Okay, this is the song, un unaltered. This is me muting the vocal out, right? Pretty good, pretty good. Bass line, just the bass line, uh, just the instruments. Kind of ropey on their own, but just the vocals. Pretty good, pretty good. So that's just muting it. But Serato has this additional trick up its sleeve in that it can mute it by applying an effect on it at the same time. So you can echo things out. Let, let me jump back to the... So I muted the, the vocals and it echoed out. That's nice. This, this is echoing out the drums. And I'm just doing this by hitting the second row of buttons. So Serato has really good stem separation. It sounds really, really nice. That's the stems icon right here, the little S kind of with lines in, in, in it. So click on that if you need a sort of visual cue to be able to see what does each button do. Um, play around with the effects. But there is one more thing that you can do in Serato is that you see there's a stems folder. If you drag a song into that, it will pre-process the stems instead of doing it the moment you load the song. It means that if your computer is having trouble processing all of these stems in real time, it's going to do all of that ahead of time. You drag it into the stems folder, and the next time you load up that song, it's going to load up all the stems because it's coming straight off your hard drive instead. It's going to take up much more hard drive space. Each song is going to be like four times the size of its original size on top of the original file. But it means that if the processor is your limitation, this is one workaround. You have that option. <laughs>